Hello and welcome to Season 3, Episode 24 of Breakfast Bites by TevovoSports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's Sports on this sunny Monday morning, 24th October, 2022. Coming to you from Paradise on the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. In rugby, Fongaray will once again be packed out when it hosts the first two Women's Rugby World Cup quarterfinals this Saturday, 29 October, with France versus Italy, followed by the Black Ferns against Wales. Then on Sunday at uh, Waitakere Stadium in Auckland, they will host the quarterfinals three and four, with England taking on Australia and Canada, Canada playing USA. In netball... Conflicting reports are coming out of Australia where they play the Tall Ferns in the fourth and deciding test on the Gold Coast today, tonight rather, to decide the winner of the Constellation Cup. Apparently, Indigenous player Donnell Wallam, a Noongar woman from Western Australia, had agreed to wear the uniform with her, the uh, new sponsor Hancock Prospecting for this series. But billionaire Gina Reinhardt's mining company Pull the plug on the 15 million Australian dollar sponsorship deal with Netball Australia. At the Rugby League World Cup, Toa Samoa scored 13 tries against Greece yesterday to totally wipe them out in Doncaster. Uh, Samoa now play France. That score was 74-4, I think it was. Samoa now play France next Sunday for a quarter-final spot. Um, yeah, the Fiji Mbati made Hawaiian pizza of the Italians yesterday with uh, uh, all the boys scoring 10 tries in total, I think it was, and Fiji advanced to the quarterfinals if they beat Scotland next Sunday. In football, Mohamed Salah and Liverpool continue their resurgence in a hard-fought win that dented Man City's EPL title defence yesterday. Egyptian pharaoh Salah scored the only goal of the game when he slotted past Edison in the 76th minute for Liverpool's first win in four top-flight games. In boxing, Islam Makovic, Makachev, sorry, Islam Makachev emulated his coach and mentor, King Khabib, to beat Charles Oliveira and win the lightweight title at, at UFC 280 in Abu Dhabi yesterday. In the co-main event, American DJ Dillashaw fought with a dislocated shoulder in losing to Ajermaine Sterling. Another American rising star, Sean O'Malley, beat Russian Pierre Yan in a controversial decision that did, uh, he didn't think he'd actually won. That's O'Malley, that is. This is Prez, President Dana White, UFC Prez, Dana White desperately trying to create a new Irish-American star. It's all about the money. For TevoVoSports.com, I'm Colin Kamir. Mahalo, vina'a and thank you. Please hit the subscribe button below if you'd like to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. And thank you all too much for all your love and support.